send this to Abu Dhabi and do not handle with care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Garfield, how many times do I have to tell you, you can't mail Nermal to Abu Dhabi? <laughs> He wouldn't fit in the fax machine. Besides, Normal is so cute. In fact, Normal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. And I'm so glad he's going to be staying with us for the entire month. Face it, Garfield. In the reality-based world, I am the pinnacle of cute, and the cute ones rule. I have to stay here and see this. What I can't figure out is why any of you watch when he's on the show. Doctors work day and night to get rid of horrible diseases. When will someone find a cure for normal? Normal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. <laughs> and I'm so glad he's going to be staying with us for the entire month. You are monitoring our dread enemy, the Orange Cat, General? Yes, and I believe we will soon find his weakness. He seems to hate that which is cute. We must find his weakness. His ability to devour our people is all that prevents us from finally conquering his planet. The secret may lie in this line our spy monitors just captured. In fact, Nermal's just the cutest thing on the entire planet. This Nermal has a dire effect on the orange one. That is the key. Send in Spumoni! I did. It is time to program the transformation our scientists have engineered. Step into the molecular restabilizer. This will change him into an even cuter version of the normal species, so he can infiltrate the Orange One's home. It will be my honor to go on this mission. The better to keep. Information. <gasps> Brilliant! Like this, he will find out how to defeat the Orange One. I can use the molecular restabilizer to transport him to Earth, and later to bring him back as well. I'm not expecting anyone. Huh? Oh, you poor little adorable kitten. You look abandoned and hungry. Don't worry, I'll feed you. And boy, you sure are cute. Another cute kitten? Hasn't Nermal made me sick enough? I know you don't like this, Garfield, but he's so cute. In fact, he's even cuter than Nermal. <laughs> what do we need another disgusting, cute... cuter than Nermal? Why, oh, this could be, uh, shall we say, interesting? <laughs> <laughs> You seem pretty confident of yourself, Nermal. And why shouldn't I be? After all, I am the cutest kitten in the world. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. 
meet our newest guest. What did you say your uh, name was? Pepperoni. Pfft, you think this kitten's cuter than me? <laughs> no way. I mean, yeah, he's cute, but I'm cute. John sure thinks so. Here's a ball of yarn for our cute little friend to play with. Whoa! Oh, 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 that's so adorable. <laughs> I've got to call Liz. Nice try, fella. I'll show you cute with a capital C. You've got to see him, Liz. Cutest kitten you ever saw. Yeah. Normal, aren't you a little old to be acting like that? Uh, no, I can't bring him over right now, Liz. I think Aunt Ivy's dropping by for a visit. I see this dump hasn't changed one bit. You still have that obese cat. Still have that flea bitten mutt. I don't know who this is, but I don't like him either. And this little one is. is. Oh, he's adorable. Why, you're just the sweetest, cutest, most precious kid in the world, I write you. Even Aunt Ivy likes him. She doesn't like anything. Excuse me. I'm a total stranger. I was just passing by and I somehow had a strange feeling that you had the cutest kitten in the world in here. And I could see I was right. Did I just hear someone say something about the cutest kitten in the world? Me! Me! Don't you people know cute when you see it? One side! Formerly cutest kitten. I want to see the new champ. <laughs> it can be hard to accept reality. <laughs> well, it was nice being adorable while it lasted. <laughs> Excuse me a second, admirers. Oh, he's so cute. He's so adorable. No exalted leader. I have not found the orange one's weakness yet, and I will not. What do you mean, you will not? These people, they think I am adorable. But Spumoni, you are my fiercest warrior. Yes, but all my life, I wanted to be cute. They love me. I will not betray them. Farewell. Spumoni, this is an outrage. You're not a cute kitten. True. <gasps> I really look like this. Huh? Why? But I would rather look like this. Huh. I don't know. Somehow you look cuter to me when you look like lasagna. Use the molecular reclamation ray. Bring him back here at once. Yes, your leadership. Please don't expose me or, or eat me. The reclamation of Spumoni is completed your leadership. You are in a big trouble, Spumoni. Oh. Oh. We are in a big trouble. Our dread enemy. Oh. Run! The monster is in our midst. Hey, Boy, I'll never get home from here. Do not devour us! If I don't, 
Will you send me home and never bother us again? Anything, anything you ask, please! Okay, you got yourself a deal, fella. Huh? Everyone left, Garfield. That cute kitten just disappeared on us. Do you have any idea where he went? Uh, nope. Is it true? Is he gone? Gone, apparently for good. And that means... I'm numero uno again! Yes! Cutest kitty cat in the whole wide world! Yeah, we're all thrilled for you. Yeah, you'll never know what it's like, Garfield. Having everyone like you and admire you. It's just the greatest feeling in the entire universe. I know what you mean, Nurma. I know what do you mean. <laughs> there will be a sequel, and we will have our revenge. And now, here he is. Dark Whipple! I was surprised to see Dr. Whipple has a new TV show. Didn't we get rid of this guy last season? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I use the latest techniques of psychology to aid people with their problems. That means he charges people a lot of money to tell them that they're confused. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to my latest <laughs> patient. An elephant? Either that or a mouse with a severe eating disorder. Oh, this is Shrimpy the Elephant. Shrimpy, show the people what I've taught you. Hey! <laughs> You dragged me here to see a man tell an animal what to do? <sighs> I'm gonna go find something to eat. As you can see, Shrimpy here has been trained with love and affection. Smile, or I won't feed you again till August. Hmm, <laughs> nice spread they put out for the crew. <gasps> You missed three steps and forgot to do the Elvis impression. Just for that, no lunch. Hey, not that it's a lot of my business, but uh, where do you put up with this? If I don't, he doesn't feed me. Looks like he's not feeding you now. Here, have half of mine. Oh, thanks. You know, Shrimpy, I have a guy who feeds me, and I don't have to do handstands or live in a cage. On the other hand, Shrimpy doesn't have to put up with Nermal, or those twins, and Aunt Ivy, and Doggy Tongue. He's right. That cat is right. Wasn't that elephant act great? No. Huh? get past you. Sorry, Doc. I was on my break, and... Call the police. Call everyone. All units, be on the lookout for one elephant. Description, gray. Approximate weight, 7,000 pounds. 
do you think all this police activity is about? Maybe they're gonna arrest Dr. Whipple for impersonating a human being. I'm going to go visit Liz. I'll see you back at the house. Bring pizza. People who treat animals like that should be treated, well, the way they treat animals. What is it with all these policemen? Hey! Huh? Huh? Who hit me? <gasps> you made a break for it? I couldn't take any more of it, but it's no use. They'll find me and they'll take me back there. And he'll, he'll be even madder at me. Hide me! You gotta hide me! Hide you? You're a little large, don't you think? Couldn't I go on a crash diet? Hmm, there must be a way. Here's an old flat volleyball, and here's some black paint. Maybe... Come on, just a little more. Tuck it in. You're supposed to be a dog, remember? Bark, do dog stuff. Come on, Spot. What kind of dog do you think that was, Henry? It looked to me like part Cocker Spaniel, part uh, Pachyderm. I don't care what it is. I'm just glad I don't have to clean up after it. Al, how many dogs have you caught this month? Well, let's see. Uh, there was that Lhasa Apso. Oh, no, she got away. <laughs> Try none. Al, you haven't caught so much as a chihuahua in months. I'm going to assign you to something a little bigger and easier to find. Do you think maybe you could find a elephant? Yeah. And I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'll sneak you in the back way. No, I don't think this will work. Huh? I'll take you in the front way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sure, like you don't have a couple of fat relatives you have to do this with. I... Where you live? Shh. Huh? I'll try to find you something to eat. Huh? Around here it's mostly lasagna or dog food. Huh? Huh? Cody! I didn't mean dog food like that. Spit my friend Odie out right now. Sorry. Garfield, if you think I'm going to feed your elephant friends, you're sadly mistaken. Three, two, one. Mm. Elephant! It is an elephant! It's Dr. Whipple's elephant! Garfield, he shouldn't be here. I'm going to call Dr. Whipple. <sighs> Don't worry, Shrimpy. We'll find a way. No, I'm going back, I know. There aren't a lot of places for an elephant in this world, except on a stage. <laughs> Hello? May I speak with Dr. Whipple? <laughs> They're putting me through to his cell phone. Don't worry, elephant. We'll have you home in no time. <sighs> you... you don't want to go home, do you? <laughs> he doesn't treat you very well, does he? This is Dr. Whipple. 
Who is this? Uh, sorry, wrong number. Uh. Well, we can't keep him here. I already have one pet who eats like an elephant. <laughs> the cat, as usual, has an idea. This is an article about a program that sends animals back to their native habitats. Oh, you think we should give Shrimpy here to the zoo? Well, he'd be happy there, but unfortunately, he does belong to Dr. <gasps> Whipple. Whoa! I did it! I caught the elephant! I caught the elephant! Huh? Attention, everyone! I caught the elephant! I may be a lousy dog catcher, but I'm a great elephant catcher! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Looks like your friend is going back. There you are! You are in such trouble now, elephant! Don't treat him bad, Doc. Mind your own business. He needs to be punished severely. Bad elephant, bad elephant. If you think I disciplined you before, Shrimpy, wait until you see what happens now. Elephants are supposed to have great memories. You won't remember the last time I fed you, and you're going to work three times harder. No, he isn't. What do you mean? He's my elephant, and he's going to do what I say. There are laws against mistreating animals. I think we better take you down to jail and teach them to you. What? No! You can't do this to me! You can't lock me up like some... some dumb animal! I'm sorry for what I did, but I think it'll be all right now. What do you think will happen to him? Oh, he'll probably agree to turn Shrimpy here over to the zoo in exchange for a light sentence. Hey, this might all work out. <laughs> and look, Shrimpy, Odie got you a peanut. One without a dog catcher inside. Why, thank you, Odie. <laughs> figures. I always thought Odie was kind of a nut. After I send you to Abu Dhabi. Oh, you act like I overstayed my welcome. Ooh, that's impossible. You were never welcome in the first place. <laughs> no, stop. I'm too cute for this. Stop. No. Yeah! Uh oh. saw me in half. Well, what if it doesn't work? Don't worry. I can find another assistant. <laughs> Just as I was getting to the fun part. <laughs> so Harry Stark and a bluebird. Big, fat, feathered deal. <gasps> Did you say a bluebird? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Forget the magic trick. It's just as well. I might have wound up with two of them. Don't leave me like this, Garfield! <laughs> Sorry, pal. This lunch is not gonna be to go. I shall eat it here. Don't bother struggling. You're fine sandwich material. <laughs> I'll take that. Garfield! 
you come back with my lunch? <laughs> That bird is going to be the blue plate special. Oh. Hey. The well-stocked refrigerator is useful for a great many reasons. He's a little dazed, but he'll be okay. Why am I so concerned about a bluebird? Odie, didn't you watch this show last season? The episode where I hatched those bluebird eggs? I'll refresh your memory. Flashback! I found these three eggs in a nest. They were bluebird eggs and it looked like the mother bluebird had abandoned them. So what could I do? I sat on the eggs. <laughs> As I was saying, I sat on the eggs until they hatched. And the little bluebirds, <laughs> they thought I was their mama. Now, Harry, he was kind of rotten in that episode. Now, come to think of it, he's kind of rotten in this episode, too. Anyway, he tried to make bluebird dinner. The mother bluebird showed up in time to stop him, and she and her babies flew off safe and sound. Ever since then, I felt kind of, well, you know, protective about bluebirds. No, I don't think this is one of those bluebirds I hatched. They were tiny, and that was last season. Oh, it is. It is one of them. Hi. Oh, my babies. They're all grown up. Almost. <laughs> that was a rotten thing Garfield did, leaving me in this box. Garfield, locking me in that box was the meanest thing you've done to me for 15 minutes. You should be. Hey, what's with the bird? Just giving him a drink of water. Nermal, why don't you make us both happy and be someplace else? I'm not leaving. I have another magic trick. <gasps> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I love it when he says that. We're going to make you a little nest. <laughs> Garfield took that yummy bluebird inside. It's got to be a way in. Oh. Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Nermal. Sorry about the news. What news? Uh, about the bluebird. I hear he's real cute. Cuter than you, even. <laughs> no one's cuter than me. <laughs> Out here, maybe. But sorry, in that house right now, that bluebird is tastier, uh, cuter. Well, you might be right. What do I do? Well, if you get it out of that house, I could maybe be persuaded to take care of it. I mean, I'd give it a good home. Wait, right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Shh, Odie. Be very quiet so we don't wake up the little bluebird. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Normal, you are once again the cutest creature in that house. Naturally. <laughs> uh, sorry, lunch. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Odie, if you're gonna wake me up like that, it better be extremely important. 
That is extremely important. Yeah. Normal, what did you do with my bluebird friend? I gave him to Harry. Don't worry. Harry said he's gonna give him a good home. Yeah, right. In his stomach. Uh, I've got to find him before it's too late. Oh, Odie. I did an awful thing. You think Garfield will ever forgive me? I don't blame him. I wouldn't forgive me either. Odie, you think that nose of yours could sniff out which way Harry went with the bird? If you think you're gonna share my lunch, think again. You give that bird back, Harry! <laughs> or what? What are you gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Odie, what are we gonna do? Bark all you like, dog. It won't interfere with my meal. Oh, it's no use. I'm probably too late. I know that bark. <laughs> Unhand that bird, Harry. Who's gonna make me? You can't beat me. You're out of shape, Garfield. <laughs> yeah, eating 10 pounds of pasta a day will do that to you. And now it's supper time. Get out! Get away from me! I'll never chase another bluebird again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, Garfield, get it over with. Mail me to Abu Dhabi. I did something <laughs> rotten. Yes, you did, Nermal. But you also tried to save my friend the bluebird. So, I'm not gonna mail you to Abu Dhabi. You're not? <laughs> Here, send this to Greenland. It's not quite as far as Abu Dhabi. A couple weeks without Nermal always makes me happy. And you know what makes me even happier? That. Bluebirds in formation. supposed to be food on this table. Do you see any food on this table? I have a horrible feeling I know what John's doing instead of making our lunch. Yes, if you ask right now, this lovely possum waxer can be yours. Finally, you can wax your possum with the possum waxer the professionals use. Oh no, hey. he's watching the All Buying Stuff channel again. I don't have a possum, but if I did have a possum, I'd certainly want to make sure it was professionally waxed. I've got to stop John from wasting all his money on junk like that. Money he could be putting to better use, like feeding his cat. Uh -huh. 
Hello, all buying stuff channel? I'd like to order 10 possum waxers. <gasps> Where did I get the tuba? John bought it from the TV channel. He also bought an automatic on-off machine. It turns itself on, then it turns itself off. Then it turns itself on, then it turns itself off. Then it turns itself on, this is all it does. Then it turns itself off. Here's a two-year supply of helium-filled sweat socks. That's useful. And this is a life-size statue of Harlow P. Inthwistle, the inventor of the waterproof sponge. Oh, thanks for stopping me, Garfield. I almost bought something that was useless and expensive. And not even edible. I'm going to do something drastic to make sure that never happens again. I'm going to turn off that channel. And you'll love our next item. It's a portable cooling device that requires no electricity. I don't have a portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Huh? <laughs> Too hot? Just use your portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Call now to order yours. I must call now to order mine. <gasps> huh? No, no, you must resist. Stop! And remember, you still have time to order this exquisite diamond-studded flea collar. <laughs> No, stop! You can't buy every stupid thing they offer on TV. They sell junk. They sell garbage. How would you like to press a button and have a fresh, steaming hot pizza in less than 30 minutes? <laughs> Meet the magnificent mozzarella machine! They sell the greatest scientific breakthrough in the history of mankind. Just press this red button, follow directions, and in just one half hour, you'll be feasting on pizza just the way you like it. Magnificent mozzarella machine. Isn't science wonderful? Must have magnificent mozzarella machine. That's right. I want to order one of those portable cooling devices that uses no electricity. Oh, and a magnificent mozzarella machine. Oh, right. And for my dog, an exquisite diamond-studded flea collar. I'll give you my credit card number. Now, Odie, it takes time for these things to arrive, so don't get impatient. Where is it? I want it. Why is it here? I want it now. Now, now, now. <laughs> Here's my portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Gee, I wonder how it makes things cold. <gasps> All it is is a giant ice cube. Oh, Odie. Where's your exquisite diamond-studded flea collar? What's this? Instructions for exquisite diamond-studded flea collar. Put color on flea? A flea collar that goes on the flea? That's a rip-off! <sighs> hey, you guys are just mad because you ordered the wrong things. I'm gonna use my magnificent mozzarella machine to whip up the pizza of my dreams. Press red button, follow directions. In just one half hour, you will have pizza just the way you like it. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Call Vito's Pizzeria, 555-7392, they deliver. Excuse me, I have to go register a serious complaint. I've seen their ads. They promise that if you're not satisfied, they'll cheerfully refund your money. A refund? 
<laughs> he wants a refund! <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we'll give him his money back! <laughs> well, at least they're cheerful. There must be someone here who'll take this junk back. <laughs> hey, that cat went inside. He expects a refund. Nobody's ever gotten a refund around here. Don't delay, folks. Hurry right now and order the spectacular internet-ready cheese straightener. Are we off the air? Good. Sold another couple thousand pieces of junk, boss. Good work, Hal. Hey, what's going on? Some cat got into the studio. He wants a refund for something. Refund? <laughs> <laughs> there he is! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the only thing this is good for. Shipping department. Let's see what's in here. I've got to find who's ever in charge of this TV station. Maybe he can... Oh, no. Bubble wrap. It's impossible to see bubble wrap and not do this. <laughs> I think he went into the shipping department. <laughs> so what's the next bit of overpriced garbage I get to sell? This? I'm calling it the awesome audio appliance. It records and plays any music or speech. You'll say it's computerized and digital and high-tech, but really, it's an old tape recorder. I bought a ton of them from a junkyard. They'll record and play, but not for long. <clears throat> but basically, it's another piece of junk. Everything we sell on this station is a piece of junk. The idiots out there never catch on. Hey, there's the cat they're looking for. I think I lost him. <laughs> I think they found me. Ah, got him! Let's take him to the boss. You can't live without one of these awesome audio appliances. Odie, huh? if I've learned one thing, I'm never ordering again from the All Buying Stuff channel. They sell shoddy merchandise, and they lie and... Gee, that audio thing they're selling looks awfully cool. Hey. We caught the cat, boss. What should we do with him? Throw him out and don't give him his money back. I never give anyone their money back, and you know why? Because people are stupid. They never catch on that the stuff I sell is garbage. This awesome audio appliance plays the most beautiful music. Listen. But basically, it's another piece of junk. Oh, huh? Everything we sell on this station is a piece of junk. The idiots out there never catch on. I have a feeling they'll catch on now. I'll give you a refund, cat. Just get out of here. I'll go, but there's something else I want. <laughs> so the police said they've received so many complaints about the All Buying Stuff channel, they're investigating. The owner may have to give everyone refunds or go to jail. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was nothing. The only thing is, well, I kind of enjoyed watching that station. Now that it's off the air, I don't know what to do for fun. 
I wouldn't leave till they gave me a three-year supply of bubble wrap. Here. Hey, this is more fun than watching the All Buying Stuff channel. <laughs> and a whole lot cheaper. Boy, you just did two. Huh? <laughs>